Hi, it's Marty. And, you know, I just have to tell you, I um, woke up this morning and I was feeling like really irritable. And um, I'm in my third week of uh, sheltering in place. And I was on Facebook. And I have to tell you, I am getting a little annoyed with people because some people haven't even been really sheltering in place for more than a week. And they're showing pictures of their gnarly toes and crusty toenails and whining about how they can't get a pedicure. Other people are like, oh, I wish I could get my car washed. And I'm like, holy smokes, don't you have anything better to do with your life? And I'm really irritated. So I go to my trusty sources of um, alternative wisdom, my animal medicine cards. And so this is the card that I got today. And I just want to share it with you. It's the ant card. And this has like amazing guidance that is... Um, it just amazes me, the simplicity of the Native American uh, traditions, their wisdom. So I want to share with you what it says about the ant card, because I think it can apply to a lot of people as we're sheltering in place, social distancing, and all of that. What are we going to do with our time, basically? So it says that um, ant medicine is the strategy of patience. Ant is like the beaver being a builder, is aggressive like badger, and has stamina like elk. And then it goes on, it says, ant people are active, community-minded folks who see the greater future needs of their town. Ant people are planners like a squirrel and are content to see their dreams being built a little at a time. In today's society, that's a rare quality. Patience does have its rewards. Ant people have a knowing about the sweet victory at the end of the line. They're never concerned about going without. If they are late for the opening of the sale, if what they want is sold out, they are sure that something equal or better is available. Think about that when you go to the store and you see the empty shelves. Just trust me, what you need is always going to be there. And then it goes on, it says, if you have ant medicine, um, you're content in knowing that what is yours will come to you. This knowing is good medicine. It shows trust in the universe to provide. Now here's, here's what I think is really fabulous. It says, it, um, if ant meandered into your, into your cards today, it's time to show a little trust and patience in some life situation. You may have forgotten that you will always receive that which you need at the time that you need it most. If this is not on the horizon or just around the next anthill, you may need to use some strategy. How can you put to use your power of creation until it arrives? Whatever it means to you at this time. Ant is working for the good of the whole. Are you? If you are, be assured that the whole wants the same goodness for you and that it will be provided. Wow, wow, wow. So like this just resonated for me today. I needed to hear this message. I needed to hear that we need to be reminded, what are we doing for the good of the whole? What are we doing to put our talents to use that can make a difference in our, in our towns and in our communities, maybe within our families? You know, so like stop thinking about toilet paper. Stop obsessing about the fact that you can't have a pedicure or get your car washed. You know, like think about how can you make a difference in your communities right now? There's a lot that can be done digitally. What are you planning for in the future? What do you want the future to look like? This is a time for great reflection. The universe is giving us a collective time out. How are you using that time? And is it going to make a difference for you or your family or your community? I'd love to hear what you're thinking about. If you like this message, uh, subscribe. I'm building the channel. It's brand new. I'm just getting started. I'd love to hear your feedback. Tell your friends about it. And uh, I'll look forward to seeing you real soon. Take care.